Nice print. So, this is different. <laughs> Hello. It's obviously game week, so we've got a lot to cover. Yeah, gotta get all our plays in, get on top of our stuff nice and early, and then hopefully we'll launch into the week against Benetton. Big yeah. team. How are you feeling? Feeling good? Feeling great. You're looking good too, the kit. Thank you. The cast store kit. It's looking great. <laughs> Loving it. It's been an exciting six weeks, uh, a lot of young lads coming into our squad, um, everyone's worked really hard and we're really looking forward to seeing how we go on Saturday. The guys coming in to the environment that we have here is, is a pleasure every day. You know, guys are working really hard, um, we've seen some really good signs of improvement in, in quite a number of our players uh, in relation to their readiness to play, uh, so from a fitness point of view and strength point of view, so uh, from a rugby point of view we look like we're moving in the right direction and I suppose we'll all see once we get to Saturday night. Oh! It builds, two, builds, one and go, 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 up, 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 Yep, beauty. Lovely. Perfect, perfect. We have a fantastic group of staff and a couple of new faces coming into that, like uh, Jimmy Duffy. Jimmy is a brilliant forwards coach. I suppose my first time working with Jimmy is probably 20 years, years ago. That's how old we are. He's a phenomenal forwards coach, technically really, really strong. Sam Dodge coming in as head of fitness has fitted in really well and, and the guys have responded extremely well to him. Dodge, I'm going to lift heavy weights today, cannot wait. First time for everything, my boy. First time for everything. <laughs> So we're going to run um, a fitness test for the lads today. Um, so it's the second time we've run it for the pre-season. So the lads will go through a 30-15, which is like you run for 30 seconds, rest for 15, increase in speed and drop out when you can't keep up. Go see PM, I think. Just for clarity, we've got to be in line with the blue on the beeps. We tested the first day boys came back from pre-season and the lads are putting a lot of good work over the, over the pre-season. So we want to try and give them a chance to show what they've done and, and see the progress of the, of the work they've put in. Yeah, like there's definitely a good feel about the place. Like we've a young team, like you know, there's a team, there's a lot of academy boys playing with us, a lot of like kind of lads that are between 20 and 24, and like that's exciting, you know. And um, you know, a few new coaches in, a few new SNC guys, and yeah, there's just a an exciting feel about the place. So looking forward to getting stuck in and get a few games. Yeah, it's been good. Uh, it's been quite tough, throwing it in the deep end a little bit. Um, having to learn how to play as a back three has been interesting, but uh, I've had loads of help from like Jacob and, and Mikey and Ethan and stuff like that, which has really helped me settling in. Um, and yeah, it's my first game week. Looking forward to it. Uh, it's a lot different to Sevens build-up week, so uh, it'll take me a bit of adjusting, but no, I'm looking forward to it. So we'll hit whole body power today. We'll gym before rugby tomorrow. And then that session is going to come first on the Thursday, right? Just so you kind of know what's coming up for the week and, and, and the why. Christmas dinner, I'm like, oh, well, maybe actually it'd be nice to have some gammon and some, some roast and stuff like that. It's like, this is different. <laughs> this is a different Irish dinner, but I like it. It smells like a bit of mustard. Special players, 
we need to get our carbohydrates in and our protein. Okay. Let's do it, let's do it. Thank you. We have to get our carbohydrates. <laughs> Today we have um, a roast turkey dinner. So we have all the trimmings, the veg sides, we have some potatoes and stuffing, some sausages just to give a little feel good factor. The boys have just come off some strength testing in the gym. So we needed to make sure we had a really good lean protein hit, which is why we've got the turkey on. We're about to go on pitch and do some extra contact work, some contact conditioning work. So again, a bit of a protein hit, but we've also got some good carb options in there in the potatoes, a little bit of stuffing. We've got our um, orzo salad for guys that can't manage to eat and um, the same volume as we'd want them to eat. And we've got some um, fruit on the side, again, for guys that are maybe gonna struggle to eat that volume of food before they head out on pitch. So there should be something for everyone. No, it's been a good week. Um, first match week, so like it's actually quite exciting to have something at the end of it because in pre-season you just sort of it's not a slog, but it is like you don't have a goal at the end of it. Whereas this week we actually have a game to put what we've been practicing out onto the pitch. Obviously, we've had we've got new coaches the first sort of pre-season with Richie, Jimmy, um, Dodge in SNC. So this is the first sort of new one that we've had with new staff, um, new coaches. So that's good, that's quite refreshing and obviously last year's pre-season was a lot longer with the World Cup whereas this pre-season is actually very short. So it's good in the way that we've got pressure and we've got things to hit and I, I quite like the pressure rather than just sort of floating through things and we've got time to get it better. Actually, let's get it better now. So now I'm strapping my legs for lineouts. Um, I do this every day if we're going up in lineouts um, just to make it as similar as I can to a game. Um, these blocks are for lifting, so the front lifters, they'll come and grab the block from the front there, so they've got something to hold on to. Um, obviously when it's wet and stuff like that, it's for a bit of grip, just so we've got max height and max drills. So yeah, we all have to do it if we're going up in the lineouts to, to make it consistent and make sure we're, we're doing everything right. When I was a kid, I used to just put tape around my legs for no reason, just because I, I thought the look, yeah. I give you a small smile. But going out on the pitch, we've got our main training today. Um, it'll be a pretty dense session, um, split between units, some skill stuff, and then we'll go into team plays, um, just to get us all sort of working under pressure, really, and get ourselves prepared for the game. Don't even interrupt. <laughs> We know we're a young side now, you know what I mean? We've got, we've got quite an experienced number of players in our squad, but when you, when, you, when you go down a layer, the experience probably isn't underneath that layer as much as it used to be. So we've got a young team. Some of our experienced players have been unbelievable in relation to how they've uh, helped bring on some of those younger players, sharing experiences uh, position to position. So, so the senior players have been really good in this preseason, um, and the young lads have come in, haven't skipped a beat. Like they've just just thrown themselves in there, and they've gone for it. Okay, you go first. <laughs> nah, you gotta go for it. Nah, you're first. You're the champ. Let's go, you gotta go first and don't be a coward, don't kick it out. Yeah, so game weeks we generally have a day off or a down day uh, midweek, so it's kind of an opportunity for kickers. Um, whoever feels fit or wants to get out and do a bit of kicking, it can be centres, it can be any position really, but mainly the goal kickers um, and half backs come out and we do kind of like a 60, 75 minute designated kicking slot, work on kind of a bit of everything punting, box kicking, goal kicking, and um, make it sometimes into a little fun and games. Um, and then goal kicking then as well at the end can sometimes be serious, again, sometimes kind of more game specific. From the line please, Doki. Captain Hook. Captain. That is oh, horrendous. Come on. I always warm up with kicking out of hand, punting. I move into box kicking. Then we do our box kicking exit game. And what's that taking about 35, 40 minutes? and then I'll go into goal kicking. So all in all about 75 to an hour and a half. It was a bit slower today because we had four of us. When it's two of us, it's a bit quicker, but there wasn't as many balls. We have a lot of people out today, which is good. We'll see come winter weather of December, January, it can sometimes be lonely here, but it's good to have more people out kicking. So it's a good day to do it. Bang down the middle. So now that we're getting back to coming into game weeks, I haven't probably kicked as much as I'd like to. So in preseason, it's very difficult to kick a lot and also 
do all the training because you're running a lot, stuff like that. So I haven't actually taken enough kicks probably in positions like this. These are kind of tricky spots for a right footed kicker, expected to get it. But if you don't feel match ready, you can struggle. So I did a nine kick thing the other day, was flying, missed this spot. Um, so now I want to make sure I'm really clued in this spot. So I'm going to take this 10 times and then I can park it in my brain. Some people might say stop overthinking it, but if I can get this now 10 times in a row, I know it's a spot I nail and I'm in the right positions and it's easy. Whereas some people would just leave it festering in the back of their mind. I want that to be parked so that when I end up here in a game, all I'm thinking is, well, you nailed this 10 times out of 10. So it's easy. So that's my approach to it. I'm already one from one. So if I get nine from 10, I'll accept it. How far is it, Nick? Uh, 160. All right, wish me luck. If this, if this uh, is a hole in one, this will be the best content of your lives. So on a down day, uh, some of us like to get and play a bit of golf. In front of the green. What did you hit back at nine? I had an eight iron. Um, kind of gets us away from the stadium and rugby itself and gets out in nice uh, Belfast sunshine when the weather's nice. And uh, yeah, just something a bit different to get away from rugby, I suppose. Sometimes you come away with more frustration than uh, actual relaxation, but that is good. Get out, get the body moving. I think when you come into a rugby environment, um, your friends end up being the guys that you play with. Um, so they do spend a lot of time together. I suppose it's, it's, a, it's a good opportunity for them to get out of our training facility and spend some time outside, which is which is great. It's something that you know we want to try and I suppose grow over the over the course of the next year is is you know our little uh, community and trying to build that out, making sure that that people feel welcome um, in our in our environment. I'm carrying water, I'm carrying water. Hello, uh, we're on our down day today, so we like to come down to Ormo Road after a bit of recovery in the stadium this morning. I'm here with my two best friends, Dave and Ethan. What's the coffee order, guys? Uh, I've got a batch, batch filter. Whatever that is. Americano. This is might just go for a flat white today. You know, I think we're going to be an exciting team to watch this year. You know, we'll play a good brand of rugby. We'll be brilliant some days and we probably won't be brilliant other days. But I think from a, from a, a coaching point of view, I think it's really important that we stay even um, and we, we deal with the issues that are right there in front of us. And we, we, we're always on the sort of um, on the view to just continual improvement. And if we can do that through the season, uh, towards the back end of the season, then we, we, we'll be very competitive.